content of the day. It's actually four o'clock. It has taken me four hours to actually get out of bed, get showered, put on some makeup, and get ready to go. I did not do my laundry like I said I was going to do yesterday and get groceries and go to the ATM and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. And I forgot to mention that today it's raining. So it's going to make things a little bit slower, but that's okay. I'm not in a rush. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go get something to eat, do my laundry, and then I need to order my groceries for the week. So I'm going to have to do cooking today, which it's actually not going to be that bad. So anywho, I'm going to continue on with my errands today. And it's not like even like a rain rain like a downpour it's like like spitting rain it's really annoying so it's kind of like if it's gonna rain like let's make it worth it I am just hanging out in my car waiting for my laundry to get done I ran and I got some Pollo Loco because I was starving I haven't had anything to eat today and, and I honestly I'm so bummed that my vacation is over I mean don't get me wrong I love my job like I really am very fortunate to have a job number one and I really enjoy the people that I work with and the cause that we support however I do enjoy my time off and the past two weeks have gone by so fast I was so tempted to just call out for the rest of the week because I'm honestly just emotionally and physically just tired and I still have so much to do just with getting ready for the year and with the YouTube page and getting content and all that stuff. And right now, like, that's like a super priority. And I feel like the past six months has been really tough on me emotionally. And I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like three weeks would be a perfect amount of time to be able to reflect and rest and not feel as stressed as I am. And so I know when I wake up tomorrow morning, I am not going to be loving life, but I am going to be happy just to kind of, um, you know, stay distracted because when you have the only, sometimes the only bad thing about time off is that you have a lot of time to sit around and think about a lot of stuff. And a lot of the things I'm thinking about, I absolutely cannot control. There's nothing more I can do. I literally am waiting and hoping and praying for some sort of miracle so that there's some positive resolution to what I'm hoping for. However, I have to move on in a positive direction and so I'm just going to pour everything into my dreams and the things that I want to do personally and having some new adventures and I really need to figure out like what adventures would that be and what is like me like I know what I like to do I'm more like a quiet person but you know I've already like skydived and I've done a couple other crazy things and I'm like, what more can I do? You know, other than just travel. But I don't know. I have to really consider, like, what should I do next? Hey, girl. <laughs> it's me, Samara Renee. What's up? So this is the end of two weeks. Actually, it's like more than two weeks. 17 days. A vacation. Let's just take a moment of silence. It all ends tomorrow. And, you know, this has been a tradition. It's been a self-care tradition for myself for many years where I save up all my PTO and I take off the basically the last two weeks of the year. And it's such a rejuvenating moment and time for me because it gives me time to do a whole lot of self-reflecting and I re self-reflect like every single day of my life but 
in a deeper way and get myself ready for the year. And so I'm going to explain how I spend those two weeks and why I feel it's necessary and a part of your whole self-care regimen that everyone needs to include into their life like today. We're going to make a toast. Cheers to you because you decided to come in, hear what I have to say, and I thank you so much. If this is your first time coming into my YouTube channel. My name is Samara Renee, and I'm here to teach you all about self-care and lifestyle tips so that you can live the best life possible and be your authentic self. So with that being said, let's get ready for one of my self-care tips. Self-care tip. Number one, have a glass of wine. Just kidding. I mean, honestly, I feel like I deserve this glass of wine and I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating that I took time to acknowledge to myself that I needed a break. I have had so much stuff, like emotionally taxing things happen around me in my personal life that has really been weighing me down and it's been overdue for me to take some real time away from work just to think and self-reflect especially with the new year starting and some of my goals and what direction in my life do I want it to go so with that if you have not taken any time off within the past three to six months I'll say that you need to check in with yourself and ask yourself, number one, why am I not taking time off? And number two, when am I going to take time off? One of the things that I have learned from many years of just working multiple jobs and going to school full time, I, I realize it's way more important for me taking care of myself versus trying to just earn some extra money. Like, really hard work ethic comes from my mom. My mom, there was a time in our life growing up that she worked three jobs um, and she's a nurse and she got it done because she knew she had to. She didn't really have an option. She was trying to, you know, keep our home and help us to survive as a family. I really started to think as I got older, like how much of a toll that takes on your mental health and also like physically like what does that do to you um, and being overworked and constantly stressed i realized many years ago that i was following the same pattern as my mom i was not taking care of myself i was getting sick all the time i was getting stomach pains uh, i eventually had to go in and get a colonoscopy to find out what was going on with me I was putting on weight, losing weight. It was just, I was all over the place. That I needed to take my life down like three notches. Didn't make sense to me that I was getting sick and stressed out. I was going through a terrible breakup that emotionally, mentally, spiritually, I was absolutely broken. I really changed the way that I look at my life and I'm always such a big um, supporter of anybody who needs to take care of themselves because I know how important it is and when you do that you take that time for yourself you get some of your power back it's not easy it's hard to say no especially for women we are just naturally nurturers. We're always trying to get things done. And so taking some time for yourself is super important. So making that your number one priority is even if it's 10 minutes of silence, if you have to go out to your car, if you have to go to an empty church, if you have to go for a walk on the beach alone, whatever you need to do, you got to pick that time for yourself because I was sitting in church a couple of years ago and I was just quietly just closed my eyes and sitting there and this I don't know I think people have this weird idea that I somehow naturally just know how to meditate and I really didn't I just kind of find found a way for myself to kind of relax and so I'm sitting in church and I was in such a deep meditation that I didn't hear this gal walk into the church and normally if you see somebody you're just like 
okay, like I'm gonna be quiet and I'm not gonna bother this person. Well, this lady just evidently was so mesmerized by me sitting still and meditating that she scared me half to death and was like, excuse me, miss, but uh, how do you sit there and meditate? Simply explained to her that it really wasn't that hard. She was like, I sit there and my mind races and I just can't sit still. It's so hard for me. How do you do it? So I'm gonna help you today to learn my little trick for you to be able to meditate and build your time up from one minute up to 10 minutes and up to 30 minutes and sometimes even an hour. It's really almost like competing with yourself and making it into a little game. And for me, everything in life is like, if it's not fun, I don't wanna do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit in a very comfortable position. You could either sit on the floor, have your legs extended across or sit in a chair and you're literally just gonna close your eyes, take some deep breaths. It's nothing like magical. And just know your mind is gonna go nuts. It's going to talk every single thought you've ever had in your life, every concern, every worry, the shopping list that you need to do, it's gonna come up. And when you accept that that's gonna happen, then you will be able to meditate and let things go a little bit better. And so while you're sitting there and your mind is having this huge rush, your goal is just to sit completely still as you can and breathe. And that's it. Started with reading books on meditation and it didn't really help me. I just figured it out for myself. So I just sit still. I put my hands either on my lap or I fold my hands or I put my hands up, palms up, and I just breathe. Take deep breaths in. When I'm feeling stressed, I just breathe it out. And when you're done with all of that, I will use an app like the Calm app or a timer. And I'll say, okay, I'm gonna sit still. I'm gonna sit still for one minute. I'm not gonna move. And I'm just gonna let my mind raise. I'm not gonna try to change anything about it. I'm just gonna breathe. And start from there and slowly build your way up. And you will be amazed that before you know it, it's like 10 minutes goes by. And first, but first, definitely just start with like one minute increments. And you have to be consistent. Do it once a day. So go to your car, close your eyes, and sit there completely still. Don't move anything on your body. Just relax and breathe. It's really simple. Just breathe and when you breathe and those your mind is racing all of those crazy thoughts that are in your head just let them pass by and ignore them me i like to be in silence i know there's so many people all over the world i'm sure who really have a hard time being in silence because of the stuff that's going on in their head and they stay busy all the time. And I wanna challenge you to confront what's in your mind. And you're probably gonna hear a whole lot of negative self-talk. You're gonna have so many things on your mind. The would've, could've, should'ves are gonna pop up. But when you sit in silence and you accept your thoughts, no matter how crazy they are, it gives you some it just gives you some type of internal peace. Like I can't even describe it. Um, if you're a spiritual person, let's say like you're a Christian, you can do the same thing with a meditation with scripture. And you can just take a small scripture, read it, sit still for five minutes, close your eyes, do nothing, and just let your mind repeat that scripture to yourself. Once you do that, um, that's just a simple meditation that you can do and it can bring so much value to your life.